What's up everyone? Welcome to another video. Today we are talking about projectors. A few years ago, I replaced my TV with a projector, which has been awesome. Watching movies and playing video games on a 10 foot screen never gets old. However, with so many different projectors available, finding a reasonably priced projector with a great picture can definitely be overwhelming. I've been through it and have tried a couple different projectors, and I have some clear results and recommendations for you. In this video, I compare two home theater projectors, the Vankio Leisure 510 and the Epson Home Cinema 2100. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. I'm posting a new one at least once a week. When searching for a home theater projector, there were many brands that I had never heard of. So, refining the search to known brands like Sony, Epson, LG, some theater projectors cost thousands of dollars. I definitely did not intend to spend thousands of dollars. If you have searched, you have likely seen the brand Vankio. Going to Amazon and searching the word projector, Vankio is the first result, and labeled as a bestseller with tens of thousands of reviews and 4.5 star ratings, and they're low cost. So, two years ago, I went for the Vankio Leisure 510. It is advertised as 1080p HD with a 230 inch projection size. Currently, this projector is sold out, which I was not expecting, so there is no price shown. However, the cost was slightly less than $200. I believe the list price was 200 and I got it for 180 or something similar to that. For the price, I went for it. My brother ended up with the same projector as well. Same scenario. Amazon recommended product with great reviews at a low cost. He had no idea I owned this projector at the time of purchase, so that was interesting. So let's talk about the Vankio Leisure 510. I connected it to my PS4 where I've run video games, movies, Netflix, YouTube, Prime Video, Disney Plus, and all of that streaming stuff. I set it up for a 10 foot screen. It ran no problem and looked good enough to me, but it was my first projector, so I had nothing to compare it to. Darkness was definitely required for the best picture. It was not enjoyably usable with the lights on. I found that it could not be completely focused. The majority of the screen could be focused well, but the corners or edges would be out of focus. This was not noticeable or really a problem while watching movies. However, when there was text on the screen, it was noticeable. I contacted Vankio about the blurry edges and corners early on. I was told that, quote, Vankio projector is mainly designed for home entertainment. When the projector is placed in a relatively far distance, it's true the words on the edges are not as clear as those in the center, especially when the projected words are small. It works like a spotlight compared with those professional office models. The performance of the Vankio projector to project the words might not be that pleasant, unquote. In addition, after about a year, the projector completely stopped working. It would not turn on. I attempted to contact them, but their only listed contact was through Facebook Messenger. So, I downloaded Facebook Messenger and contacted them. A week went by with no response. I ended up contacting them through an email address that I used the year before, from the blurry corners and edges. I received a response, and a replacement was sent to me at no cost. So, for $200, the Vankio gave me an okay picture for a year, then died. Then a free replacement that is about a year old and still working. I don't regret it. It was enjoyable. The 10 foot screen was awesome. However, if this is intended to be your main TV screen, I do not recommend it. To me, it's not worth investing in the projector, then investing in mounting it and building a screen for it to be unsatisfied, then have it stop working and not be able to get any help from customer service. For something this important, which is used daily and should last for years, in my opinion, I would spend the extra money on something better. Now, let's get to the Epson Home Cinema 2100. I recently moved, and it was time to start fresh with a new projector setup. The search for something better, but not costing thousands of dollars, was overwhelming. I saw a YouTube review comparing the Vankio Leisure 510 to a 10-year-old Sony off of eBay for 100 bucks, and the Sony was way brighter and crisper, so I knew that there was definitely something better out there for a lower cost. And yes, there were plenty of used projectors on eBay, However, I did not want something old and used. I looked up home theater projectors, and the prices were in the thousands. I could not find anything in between that was the same brand. I kind of gave up. I told my wife I had enough for reading reviews, and would get back to it again another time. Well, I don't know how or where she found it, but she sent me a link to the Epson Home Cinema 2100. I was tired of the search, so I watched a review on YouTube, and it looked amazing. So we purchased it, and good or bad, the search was done. It is advertised as Full HD, 1080p, 250 lumens. 
Looking on Amazon, it has four and a half stars. I was surprised to see that it's currently listed at six hundred and ninety nine dollars. I got it from Walmart for four hundred. So for me, it was the hidden gem that I was looking for. Something better than the two hundred dollar Vancio, but much less than the one thousand dollar plus home theater projectors. This projector was worth every penny. The picture is crisp and bright, with the lights on and with the lights off. I'll run them both side by side with the lights on and the lights off for this comparison. Both projectors were pointed at the screen, and my camera was set up pointing at the screen, and nothing was moved. First, I connected the Vancio to a laptop with the HDMI cable, then showed a landscape picture with the lights on and with the lights off, then ran Destiny 2 Summer of Solstice trailer with the lights on and with the lights off. After that, I removed the HDMI from the Vancio and connected it to the Epson and repeated the same procedure. Same picture with lights on and lights off, and same video with lights on and lights off. The Epson is crisp and a lot brighter. It can be used with the lights on, no problem, where the Vancio could not. Both projectors feature a speaker. I cannot comment on that. I run the sound through a surround sound system and have not used the onboard speakers. The Epson has more features, but it is without a doubt a higher class projector. One last comparison is a fan sound test. Using a decibel meter, the Vancio measures 52 decibels on the intake and 62 decibels on the exhaust. And the Epson measures 59 decibels on the intake and 75 decibels on the exhaust. So the Vancio is a little bit quieter, but the surround sound mutes the fans on both of these. I've never been irritated with the fan noise from either of these, and I never really noticed it. So that wraps up this comparison. In the end, when looking for a budget or low cost projector, there are many options. The Vancio is a very popular option. It works well for movies and pictures, but not for on-screen text. This could be a great option for infrequent use. However, if this is your main TV being used every day, I don't recommend it. With the top name brand home theater projectors costing thousands of dollars for half the cost, the Epson Home Cinema 2100 is outstanding and worth every penny. I highly recommend it. It is crisp and bright and works great with the lights on and off. Yes, the Epson is more expensive, but it is a brand that you can trust, and it's a better projector. Your projector application and price point are up to you. For me, using it daily, it was worth every penny of the extra cost for superior quality. Don't get me wrong, I like to hang on to my money and do things myself, but I tried the budget projector and it was not worth the cost savings for my application. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe so you don't miss the next video. I post a new one at least once a week. Drop any comments below and I'll see you in the next video.